Hello everyone again. So here's the next problem uh, on LR circuit. So involving an inductor in the circuit as shown in the diagram. So you have an inductor. So this is an inductor, right? Uh, this is an inductor uh, connected in the network circuit as shown in the figure and you have a 12 volt battery and it says uh, at t is equal to zero this switch is closed right and then uh, it's action uh, once the switch is closed at t is greater than zero what is the voltage across the inductor as a function of time and what is the current current through the inductor as a function of time so that's the <clears throat> question uh, for this right so once the switch is closed right um, at t is zero right so then uh, so let's say these are the currents right let's say current through the inductor is il this is an inductor which is simply a coil and it says its inductance is 80 millihenry and this is how the current divides let's say let's say this is i1 this is i of l right this is i l which is the current of the inductor and let's say this is i2 so you have uh, this unknown uh, so let's say uh, at so i'm going to consider this as one node another node and this is this is the node so let's say vl right so i can apply uh kirchhoff's current law uh using nodal analysis at vl right so at vl apply kcl right if you apply uh kcl kirchhoff's current law at vl what is uh what do you get right uh, so i1 is equal to IL plus right uh, plus uh, I2 let's say right but I1 I1 is uh, this is at 12 volts right so 12 volts minus VL because the voltage here at this node is V of L which is the inductor voltage uh, divided by the 12 20 kilo ohm right is equal to il so what is il in terms of vl so uh, you know the voltage across the inductor from faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction voltage across the inductor is uh, l di over dt right it's the rate of change of current through the inductor times the inductance but now if you want to find the il which is the current through the uh, inductor is you just need to now do uh, the integration of V L D T right so from some initial time to final time so this is what we're going to use so I L which is the current through the inductor it can be expressed as 1 over L uh, integration of V L D T right plus what is I2 so I2 is current in this branch right branch and here you have a total resistance of uh, 20 kilo ohms right uh, so it's a vl divided by this is this is your reference so vl minus zero divided by because this is at vl right and the total current total resistance here is 20 kilo ohm so vl divided by 20 k right now uh just you just need to simplify this right and get a differential equation but you have to now get rid of this inter integral right and to get rid of the integral you have to take the differentiation so just take the differentiation so differentiation of this is the first term is zero so zero minus dv so i'm just i will have to say uh, taking the first derivative right with respect to the time taking the first derivative with respect to time so 0 minus dvl over dt 
uh, it gives you the differentiation of the integral VL dt is VL. So it's VL divided by L, right? And plus 1 over 20 K, right? Uh, no, you have 20 K as well. Yeah. So it's 0 minus 1 over 20 K. And 1 over 20 K dVL over dt. Yeah. So this is what you get. And uh, so it's going to give you 1 uh, over 20,000. Let's convert into a standard unit. Dt. So VL over, uh, what is the inductance? Inductance given is 80 millihenry. Milli means negative 3. Plus 1 divided by 20,000. DVL over Dt. So just rearrange that and simplify this equation. So simplifying this will get you uh right in terms of differential form you're gonna get this v l t equal to zero right and we know the solution for this is a standard first order homogeneous differential equation and its solution is well known solution the function of time is uh, so because it doesn't have coefficient so it have some unknown constant e negative alpha t and this is your alpha Right, so is k e minus one twenty five thousand t v l t right? So let's call this equation number one. So to find this unknown constant k, you need to apply the initial condition, right? So what is the voltage across the inductor at t is equal to zero? So, so we have to apply uh, the initial condition. And what is the initial condition? At t is zero second, what is VL? Right, that's what you need to figure out first, right? Then we'll be able to find out this key. So let's work, go back to the circuit. So at t zero, right? Or before you even close this switch, what was the voltage VL sitting across? So if you draw this equivalent circuit, if you draw the equivalent circuit, it will be something like that, right? Because at t is 0 minus or 0 plus, which is basically just before uh, you uh, close the switch or just right after you close the switch, uh, what is the, uh, what's your equivalent circuit? It's something like that. You have this, 20 kilo ohm, right? So because the switch was not closed, switch was not closed, so the inductor is open, right? And you have uh, this on the right hand side, I, I can combine 16 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohms is to a total of 20 kilo ohm. And this is uh, 20 kilo ohm, right? And this is, uh, what is the voltage on that? So I have just combined this 4 kilo ohm and 16 kilo ohm, 20 kilo ohm on this arm, this 20 kilo ohm, and you have a 12 volt battery. And the inductor is open. So basically, this is your, this is what the VL, right? This is your VL at T is zero, right? And this is basically a voltage divider. So 20 kilo ohm, 20 kilo ohm. So at T is equal to zero. So your VL is just, uh, because it will be evenly divided, is six volts, right? And then that's what we're going to use. We're going to use this initial condition here in this equation number one to find the value of K, right? So at t0 which is 6 volt is k e0 so that means your k is 6 volt then your general solution is vl as a function of time is 6 minus right uh, 125000 t so that's your general solution right uh, or you can do one more thing what is the time constant of the circuit Time constant tau is 1 over 125,000. It has a very small time constant. And if you do the time constant, uh, 1 divided by 8 microsecond. Only 8 microsecond time constant. So then you can say uh, V, you know, this is how the voltage across the inductor changes over time. Uh, e minus. 
is 2 over 8 microsecond volts. So this is our very final function. Right? This is how the voltage across the inductor changes over time. So now we, it's, it's also asking what is I, uh, how does the current for the inductor changes over time. So IEL is, uh, IEL is simply what, uh, 1 over L, right? Uh, you just need to integrate VLGT if you go back and check. So it integrate from negative zero, negative infinity to T. Negative infinity simply means uh, the switch was off for a long time uh, before the switch was closed. Right? Or you can simply say zero to T. Well, this can be written as infinity to zero right plus zero to t right and this is zero right the first term is zero because before you close the switch the, the current through the uh, inductor is zero before you close the switch now from z at zero you close the switch and over time t uh, then how does it change so then this vo as a function of time we already know right 6 uh, e minus t over 8 microsecond dt and you just need to integrate it from uh, 0 to t right and if you just integrate that from 0 to t uh, so your this is how the current changes right and if you do that so 6 times upon negative 4 you make sure you do this integral you have because t minus 0 you get 1 minus this t over 8 microsecond right, amps so this is how the current change current through the uh, inductor changes so we have just used the, again we have just used the differential uh, equation method to solve this transient problem lr transient circuit problem